In today's climate, we cannot carry on as we are. We urgently need growth, jobs and innovation. Europe's entrepreneurs and web startups offer that hope. And there's a great online opportunity on offer. With low entry barriers, great creative possibilities and a new approach based on working together in the sharing economy. Let's capture it. Europe doesn't have Silicon Valley and we don't need to either. Instead, we have a geographically spread set of clusters, all rich with creative talent. With the right resources, the right attitude that it is okay to take a risk and the right recognition that this is a valid career path, we can deliver a European dream, every bit as good as the American one. It is a compelling vision, but not an easy one. This is not something you just walk into. It needs perseverance and professionalism, the right skills and the right rigor. Europe needs more people like that. Our Startup Europe campaign is about strengthening that ecosystem and boosting European leadership, giving web entrepreneurs the rules, recognition and resources they need for success so that more of those innovators start up in Europe and stay in Europe. Co-working spaces bring their own contribution to that ecosystem, making it easier and cheaper to put ideas into practice, more social and less solitary. Sharing a space so it's easier to network, swap ideas and absorb a new kind of culture. And supporting startups, because the best co-working spaces are not just a desk and a coffee machine, but a full professional program of training and progression to build a creative, capable cohort of skilled startup talent. I welcome this event, Connecting People informing policymakers and ensuring we make the most of this growing phenomenon. A chance to raise awareness, share concerns and generate the ideas. And I want to make two requests of you, the community of creative co-workers. First, I want to support you, but to do that, I need to know a few answers. What are your needs? What conditions and incentives would help you realize your full potential? And how can local authorities of EU institutions support that? How can we reduce a fragmented European space, bring down barriers, open up opportunities? Could, for example, we help networking between co-working spaces, including between countries? My second request, make sure your voice is heard. This event at the European Parliament gives a great opportunity to do that with policymakers and lawmakers from all levels, local, national and European. I know they will all take those messages seriously. But there is more you can do to mobilize. The Startup Manifesto is a grassroots movement preventing not just ideas for startups, but a manifesto for European innovation and growth. With ideas from access to talent to access to capital, the 22 actions suggested now have over 6,000 signatures. So, if you haven't already, now is the time to add your voice to that movement. Sign up at startupmanifesto.eu. I wish you the very best of luck with your discussions. My message to all entrepreneurs out there is clear. Be creative, innovative, and fearless, because Europe needs more people like you. Thank you.